In this example, I need to find all solutions of the equation that cosine of theta equals 0 0.9235, and the solutions need to be in the interval 0 degrees to 360 degrees. I also need to round the answers to the nearest tenth of a degree. Well, this value, 0 0.9235, is not a value on the unit circle, so I'm going to have to solve this problem using a calculator. And how do I undo the cosine function? Well, theta is going to equal the inverse cosine or the arc cosine of 0 0.9235. Now remember, this equation, the cosine of theta equals 0 0.9235, has an infinite number of solutions, but I just need to find the solutions in the interval 0 to 360 degrees. However, this equation, theta equals the inverse cosine of 0 0.9235, this equation only has one solution. And by definition, the solution must lie between 0 and 180 degrees, somewhere in either quadrant 1 or quadrant 2. So now I need to get my calculator. Here is my calculator. It's a TI-84+. plus. I need to make sure I'm in degree mode, so hit mode. Notice degree is highlighted, that's what I want, so I need to get back to the home screen. So hit quit, which is second mode. So now I just need to type this into the calculator. The inverse cosine or arc cosine is in blue above the cosine key. So I'm going to hit second cosine, which gives me my inverse or arc cosine. And now to type this number in, it's 0 0.9235, close parentheses, and hit enter. So here is my answer. I need to round it to the nearest tenth of a degree. That's the position of this 5. This 5 is going to round that 5 up to a 6. So the answer is 22.6 degrees. So theta equals 22.6 degrees. So that is one of the solutions to this linear trigonometric equation. Now, why did the calculator give me this answer? In which quadrant is 22.6 degrees? It's over here in quadrant 1. So here is my theta that equals 22.6 degrees. Now remember, the cosine of theta by definition is x over r. In this case, we were given the cosine of theta is a positive number. It's greater than zero. And when will that occur? Well, r is always positive, so the cosine of theta will be positive when x is positive. Now, out of these two quadrants, quadrant 1 and quadrant 2, in which of these quadrants is x going to be positive? It's going to be positive in quadrant 1. That's why the calculator gave me an answer in quadrant 1. Now, is quadrant 1 the only quadrant in which x is positive? No, x is positive also in quadrant 4. So I'm going to need to find an angle in quadrant 4 whose cosine equals 0 0.9235. So I'm looking for this angle. I'm going to call it theta sub 2. And how am I going to find this angle? I'm going to need to use reference angles. Remember, for angles in quadrant 1, the angle is equal to its reference angle because this is the acute angle the terminal side makes with the x-axis. 
So I know my reference angle theta prime is equal to 22.6 degrees. And for the angle in quadrant four, its reference angle theta prime also has to equal 22.6 degrees. So now, how can I find my theta two? Well, you can see that this whole angle theta two plus the reference angle has to add up to 360. So theta sub two is going to equal 360 degrees minus my reference angle of 22.6 degrees. So what is my second solution? 360 minus 22.6 is 337.4 degrees. So that is my second solution to this equation. And how can we check it? We can check it on the calculator. We can find the cosine of this angle. So let's find the cosine of 337.4 degrees. Hit enter. Now, is this the number that I started with in my problem? It's close, it's not exactly the same, but that is because I rounded this answer here. So, since this is approximately the same as what I started with, that's a good confirmation I've done this problem correctly. I have two solutions. The first is 22.6 degrees, an angle in quadrant one, and the second one is 337.4 degrees, an angle that is in quadrant four.